Well, Kim and Shannon, this emergency inspection report came after an engineer who was working on the bridge and who RIDOT tells us wishes to remain anonymous flagged some structural issues on Friday. Now, that led to what RIDOT Director Peter Alvidi called an intense analysis process, the results of which deemed that the westbound side of the bridge was in imminent danger of failing and that keeping people traveling over it was putting their lives at risk. Steel rods sheared and rusted, gaps between major support beams. These new images released by RIDOT showing damage engineers discovered on critical parts of the westbound side of the Washington Bridge. The bridge, built in the 1960s, is one of thousands that had been deemed structurally deficient by the DOT. And when they get to their, the end of their um, useful life, as this one is, the deterioration can accelerate. Uh, and that's what happened with this bridge. On each side of the bridge, there are eight pins, steel rods that hold major beams in place. RIDOT Director Peter Alvidi says six out of eight of them were fractured or in disrepair. Over the weekend, they did an intense investigation of all of the other components of this bridge, and they found other deficiencies that were happening in a kind of a cascading way on this bridge <laughs> structure. The report also notes that inspectors observed steel rods and beams known as cantilevers bouncing as drivers passed above them. Old structures tend to fail more rapidly once they begin to go. And in this case, um, we cert our inspect between our inspectors and our construction engineers um, caught it before it became a catastrophe. The closure of the bridge creating a different kind of catastrophe, crippling travel in and around East Providence. As engineers work to repair the westbound side, crews are converting two lanes of traffic on the eastbound side of the bridge so they can carry westbound traffic. That process will take about two weeks, while the process to fix the westbound side of the bridge itself is expected to take at least three months. And looking live at 195 East right now, we actually just saw an East Providence ambulance navigate its way over the westbound side of the bridge. As we've reported before, one lane is open for emergency vehicles to come from East Providence westbound. Now, uh, we're also looking at RIDOT crews working on that temporary fix. Uh, to allow westbound traffic to continue once again. But that means two lanes of 195 East are now closed. So if your morning commute on eastbound side of this highway was smooth this morning, it may not be the case tomorrow. RIDOT Director Peter Alvidi is encouraging people to work from home if they can. Also encouraging businesses to reduce deliveries during peak travel hours, perhaps making them overnight in any effort to cut down on the number of vehicles on this area's roadways. We're live in Providence tonight. I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.